So, Stephen, your team are making the trip to Curzon Ashton tomorrow. What have preparations been like leading up to this game? Um, <clears throat> yeah, good. Um, they're generally good, to be honest. Um, what players we got available to us still? Still short on numbers. Um, we've had to wrap a few up this week and not put them through any paces, just working on a few bits and pieces of uh, shape work and that. Um, but, yeah, we'll be going prepared for the game. Just to touch on the last game, 5-1 winners over Bradford. How happy are you with that result and also the response off the back of the Brackley loss? Um, I thought the, the boys were fantastic, to be honest with you. And, and Brack, um, Bradford are a decent side. They're not... You know, when people said, oh, 5-1, it was only Bradford. Bradford are a good side. They play good football. They've got good players. Their movement's good. Um, they've got dangerous players in their team. So... I looked at their last few results, you know, only drawing away, you know, Kidderminster away is a good good point for anybody. Uh, just losing to Scarborough, etc., etc. They, they've, they're a good side. Um, so I said to the boys today that their performance is like, was very, very good. And we limited them to very little. We could have done better on the goal and pushing out. We know that. But we could have probably scored more than five. So... Um, performances were fantastic, but now we've got to try and back that up with a, another performance away. You managed to bring in Victor Naranold through the budget booster crowdfund for the last game. Is there any words you'd like to give to those that contributed and anything about Victor himself as a player? Yeah, I mean, I, I said it last week in the interview that, you know, I thank the fans for doing that because without them, we wouldn't have the player. So, again, I can only say the same thing again. Thank you for helping us um, get this player over the line we, we desperately needed that Victor desperate um, he's made a big difference he's one of the unsung heroes who plays in, in can play holding midfield he can play different positions so which is valuable he's a good size he's an athlete he's got a very very good pedigree you know he's played in the Scottish Premiership a, a number of times League One League Two so he's a great addition to the squad um, yeah and he's fitted in nicely and finally, in the reverse fixture at the Tiger Turf, tomorrow's opponents managed to defeat what was previous manager Lee Mansell's side 3-0. What do you know about them as a team and the threats they can cause your side? Oh, we watched them Tuesday night. We've gone back into games that they've played. We know what system they play. We know the strengths and hopefully the weaknesses of their team. So, But they're a good football inside. They, the pitch is normally good over there um, because one of the pro sides use it as the 23s. So... Hopefully it's going to be a decent football match. And again, they, you know, they've beaten Alfreton away from home during the week, and Alfreton haven't lost for nine games, so they're going to pose a big threat to us. But you know, probably their manager will be the same, saying the same thing, and he needs to follow it up with a result after that result, and it's the same thing I'm saying. So it's going to be a tough game. So thank you. Cheers.